Hi, I'm Uncle Carl, and welcome to Twin Moons Tavern. Today we're doing a tavern and diner classic, hash. I use the term hash in the broadest sense of the word because it can change drastically depending on regional and cultural differences, but there is some version of this almost in every state across the United States. The basic concept is fried potatoes with some assortment of vegetables and or meat. Because of how this can vary, I'm just going to show you one of many different types and it's going to be less of a recipe and more of a method that I like to follow. First, we're going to go ahead and start with potatoes. I'm using russets because honestly, that's what I have handy, but really you can use anything that you like. I like my breakfast hash to be a little bit chunky, so I'm going to go ahead and cube my potatoes. I start by cutting a small sliver off of one end of the potato lengthwise, giving me a nice level side that I continue to work with safely so the potato's not rolling around while I'm trying to cut it. From there, I'm going to slice it into planks and then from planks into sticks. And then once again, turning the sticks into cubes. There's really no set size that you need to cut these, but do try to cut them roughly the same size and try to make them bite size or smaller. Ultimately, this dish should be able to be eaten with a fork or a spoon and not need a knife. Another common way to prepare these potatoes is to go ahead and grate them. And that's perfectly fine if you prefer them grated over cubed. This is just the way I'm doing it. Also, you notice I did not skin these potatoes. Those of you that have been watching, you know I don't like skinning vegetables. I think it's a lot of extra work and you're removing a lot of the nutrition and flavor. So I'm not going to bother doing it. By all means, if you don't like the skins, go ahead and peel them off. I'm going to take these potatoes and go ahead and sit them in a bowl of cold water. Put them to the side while I prepare the rest of the vegetables. This will A, keep them from browning, and B, it will help the potatoes leach out a lot of the excess starch, which is ultimately going to be able to make them crisp up a little bit more. Now for the vegetables. Really any combination of vegetables that you like is going to work. I'm starting with some red bell peppers, and I'm just going to go ahead and cube them up roughly the same size as the potatoes. Then I'm going to do the same with some green bell peppers. Get myself a piece or two of garlic, crush it, and then do the rocky choppy until it's a nice fine mince. And then the last vegetable that I'm adding today is onion. And I'm also doing a small dice with these as well. Common to hash, but not necessary, is meat. Usually some kind of breakfast meat. Common things are bacon and sausage, or really any other kind of meat that you have left over from another meal. I happen to have a whole bunch of ham left over. So I'm just going to go ahead and dice that up as well. This is a very scalable meal, and it's really about the ratio of all the different ingredients to keep it balanced. I like to put in four parts of potato, four parts of onion, two parts of whatever meat that I'm using, and then one part of each of the other vegetables that I might use. Now I need the potatoes to be at least partially cooked before I put them in the frying pan. That way I can get them nice and crisp on the outside, but still be soft and tender on the inside. So I'm going to parboil them. And that's just putting them in a pot of boiling water. And like anything that you're cooking in boiling water, be sure to season it well. Because of the size, they only need a few minutes. And then go ahead and pull them. Now that all my prep is done, time to cook. Get my pan on a medium heat and then put in your cooking fat. I happen to have some bacon grease, so I'm going to use that. If you're looking to make it a little healthier, olive oil is perfectly fine and delicious. Dump in your onions and get them started. And let them cook just until they start softening up. Add in your other vegetables, your ham, and try not to forget your garlic. Let all that cook for a couple of minutes. And the last thing you're going to put in is your potatoes. Mix that all up and then make sure to press it down onto the pan to make sure as much of it is making contact with the pan as possible. At this point, you can also add any seasoning you want to, a little extra salt depending on the meat that you're using, some black pepper. I'm adding some dried rosemary to give it an herby flavor. Sage and oregano also work really well, or really anything with a nice earthy flavor to it is going to go really well with this dish. Let that cook for about two minutes, give everything a flip, and then let it cook for another two. You're going to do this two minute intervals, three to four times or until you see the caramelization the way you like it. You all know I like a little bit of char on my food, so mine was actually four intervals, two minutes a shot. To make this more of a breakfast dish, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few eggs. I've created little divots for the yolks to sit in, and then I'm just gonna crack them and drop them in there. 
and I've spread them out pretty evenly to indicate portion size. Cover them up and let them cook for a few minutes until the eggs are done to your liking. I'm going for an over easy kind of thing, but honestly I cooked them a little too long. They're more of a over medium. And we're done. They look delicious. Let's go ahead and see how they came out. Now let's go ahead and cut into this. Nice soft yolk, not runny, but soft. Could have taken it out a little sooner. Super hearty, some nice herb flavor from the rosemary, but you got your meat in there, you got your potatoes, you got some vegetables, your eggs. And what else could you want in your breakfast? Again, the trick to this is doing the prep work, and then it just comes together in a few minutes after that. Super easy to do if you're still in cold weather. It's a great breakfast for a cold uh, Sunday or Saturday morning. A great way to use up leftovers. This is leftover ham. Didn't have any leftover the smashed potatoes, but smashed potatoes instead of the potatoes that I have here would have been really good. The ingredients I have in here is really more of a suggestion than anything else. Um, I mean, potatoes, onions, a meat, some vegetables, but you can mix that up really any way you see fit. Hope you try this out. Remember, we're living in crazy times, so try to be kind to each other. You don't know what the other person's been going through. And until next time, you guys take care. See you next time at Twin Moon Seven.